Hello and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to cover two different things. We're going to cover solar degradation and loan payments in Excel. And this is going to help you do your solar power cash flow. So the first thing we're going to do is the solar degradation. So it turns out that solar power, the energy output, decreases about 0.5% every year. It's going to vary a little bit from panel to panel, manufacturer to manufacturer. But in general, the silicon panels, this is what they degrade per year. And the energy output in year one, we're going to assume is 10,000 kilowatt hours. And this is going to depend on lots of factors that we don't have time to discuss here. So in year one, for our method two and me or method number one and method number two, in year one, it's going to be 10,000, no matter what, because that's our assumption. And actually, a better way to do this. So now we have that. So for method number one, what we're going to do is say that this is the previous entry minus the previous entry times the 0.05%. So what this is saying is take 10,000 minus 10,000 times 0.5%. And we don't want the 0.5% to change, so we're going to make that an absolute reference. And if we drag this all the way down, we did this for 20 years, we see that this is the amount of output that would happen over at, at the 20 year point, is 9,091 kilowatt hours. So that's one way to do it, but I couldn't use this formula if I wanted to just calculate year 19 or year 20. Because it depends on the one before it. You can see that this calculation depends on B24, which is the one before it. So a more generalized formula is to um, do this in a more generalized way. But first, let's think about this. Let's think about simplifying this. We can pull, if we think of this as an algebraic expression where B6 is X and B1 is Y, this is X minus XY. We can pull the X out of each, out of both equations, and we get that this equals B6 times 1 minus B1. And then we drag that down again. So this gives us a powerful tool now. Because what happens is every single time what we're doing is we're multiplying the cell before it by 1 minus B1. So this is 10,000 times 1 minus B1. And this is 9950 times 1 minus B1. Really, though, we could just say this is this, this cell right here is 10,000 times 1 minus B1 squared. This one is 10,000 times 1 minus B1 cubed. So we can use that. We can say that we want it to be 10,000, and we want that to be a fixed reference now, times 1 minus B1. And now we're going to raise that to a power. So we're going to raise it to this power minus 1. And let's see what happens. So now we have the exact same numbers. It's just in a different way. So this is important because this formula that we used here can be used in general. So if I asked you what, um, what would be the power output after 40 years, you would just, in year, in year 40, you would just put 40 in this equation for A7. So if you're ever without Excel, you can do, you can do it with this method. This method would really require a lot of time or nicely it just requires Excel. So that's how to figure out solar degradation. Now let's go ahead to the loan payment. So there are some formulas out there that you can do loan payment just by yourself um, and put in a complicated formula here. 
but Excel actually has a function called PMT or the payment function. So, um, and so does, and I'm using Google Sheets right now, so Google Sheets has this too. And what, what's nice is Google Sheets gives you um, what the different terms are here. So the first term is the rate. So let's talk a little bit about this before we actually um, go over this. Our loan is going to have a 15% annual interest rate up here. The loan term is going to be 30 years, and the loan amount is going to be $40,000. But the big thing about this is that we want this loan to have monthly payments. So even though the loan term is in years and there's an annual interest rate, we need to convert that so it's monthly payments. So the rate is needs to be a monthly rate. So the first thing we do for... Um, for this is we take the interest rate and divide it by 12 because that converts an annual interest rate into a monthly interest rate. And then the next thing we see with payment is that it's the um, amount of periods. So all that means is how many payments you're going to make. And in that case, we're going to make um, 30 years worth of payments every month. So it's 30 years times 12 payments each year. And then the first thing, the first um, is the initial value. The last, um, the last cell is the initial value. And let's make sure we're referencing these things. So that means our monthly payment here would be five hundred and five dollars. So now let's look and see if we change one of these things. Let's say we change the interest rate to 7.5%. So a common misconception is that our loan payment would decrease by half if we went to 7.5%. But it doesn't. So um, so you need, really need to think about, you know, when you do interest rate, it's it's definitely different um, when you change the interest rate. It doesn't just have or, or whatnot. So it's a good thing to pay attention to is that interest rate can really affect your, your monthly payment, not just for the solar cash flows, but in other things in life. All right. Thanks for watching.